Hi. Good afternoon. I got this mic honestly ages ago and I've never used it and so I thought I'd try it out. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work and you'll never see it again. I'm just gonna try it for now. It's two. I've been having a problem recently sleeping and waking up. I don't think I have like seasonal affected disorder necessarily but I think I slow down in all the wrong ways. I'm making this video to kind of force myself to not do that, to get myself out of a rut. The way I'm going to do that today is I'm going to shower. It's a very basic thing. If you're in a bit of a slump, it just helps to feel clean. I hope this is a nice ASMR for you. Hold on. I have finished my shower. I've actually put on some more ointment on my dry area where my tretinoin cream has eaten my skin. Feeling better. That's for sure. Like, I feel good. I'm gonna make my bed and then I'm gonna clean my room. You know what? I'm gonna make this a montage because, like, you know, I can only say so many things. <laughs> about as good as we're gonna get it today. This is like looking very ambient. I'm kind of enjoying. I've now got my earrings and candles. Then obviously my vanity, which is nice and clean. Doesn't have my makeup all over it, contrary to its usual state. And then we've got an inspirational message there. My mum got me these cards that have inspirational like sentences on them. And you think, wow, like, no, that's like so generic. Like, I love them. I love them a lot. And it says, today can be the beginning of anything you want. I thought that was quite appropriate for the nature of this video. I might move it, I might change it, but that's not happening right now because there are other things we need to do. It would not be a Chloe Hunkin video if there wasn't some sort of cooking or baking involved. I in fact enjoy the baking and cooking sometimes more than the eating because I just like making it look nice. Like I love that. I love the aesthetics, you know? And as well as just me enjoying it, I'm going over to my dad's for dinner in like two hours, so I want to make something to bring over. I was doing some research this morning about what I could bake. I was like, oh my god, like a vegan cheesecake. How cool would that be? And so I was trying to find a recipe that was not free, of which there were a few, and the ones that there were take two days to make. I need to have it done in two hours, like this isn't gonna work. This is all to say, I have no idea what I'm gonna do, I have no idea what I'm gonna bring. But I think that the only way for me to figure it out is to like go to a supermarket and see whether that gives me any inspiration I can pick up something. So, as suspected, when I went to the supermarket, I did get a lot of inspiration. In fact, so much inspiration that I'm no longer baking anything. And instead, I'm making a cheese board. I saw all these mixes and stuff and I'm just not inspired by it, you know? I had a little amble around. I was like, maybe the like vegan cheese section has something and it did. It had vegan blue cheese, which like doesn't really make any sense. I'm like, how do they make it blue? But whatever, like, I'm just gonna trust that it's edible. They had vegan blue cheese, reduced. If that's not a sign, I don't know what is. I got a bunch of random shit, basically. I think it'll look really pretty because it's like a nice variety of colors, but I guess you can be the judge of that when I show you. I'm gonna head over to my dad's. I will see you when I'm there. Hi, um, Hi. who are you to me? I'm your father. So, ready for the pop? Yeah, this is this is the only reason I started recording. <laughs> okay, here you go. It's a bit cool. Oh, okay. Fuck it, that was scary. <laughs> how much do you. How much do you for? Now. You sure? Yeah. I think so. I always come back for more. Delish. Cheers. I've got croissants, eh? Oh. That's actually very nice. Is it? That's a very nice Prosecco. Is it? Yeah, it's like very citrusy. I wouldn't know one Prosecco from another. No, honestly, I mean, I am chatting shit a little bit, but it is it's quite nice, I'm enjoying. Yeah, I wanted to drop in actually quickly and say I haven't made the cheese board yet, but I will, and it will be so the best thing you've ever seen in your life. If you want to see what it's like to have a Sunday roast here, then watch my perfect weekend in my life video. It's really cute, it's really fun. I'll see you guys later. Say bye, Dad. Bye, Dad. Okay, he's so funny. <laughs> My cheese board went down very well, did it not? <laughs> I can't show you how Mickey looks right now, but just know I really want you to- I can't hear you, I'm too gossip Could guy. <laughs> Could you tell me how you enjoyed my cheese board, please? Oh, I, I like the cheese board a lot. Okay, so this is a good enough of a review for me. <laughs> it went down really well. 
people enjoyed it. By people, I do mean my dad and my boyfriend, so relatively biased, but still, I'm proud of myself. We had a couple of bottles of wine between us, so that means I'm going to go out like a light, I'm sure, after I finish recording this. Good night. Sleep dreams. I... Sleep dreams? (laughs) Oh, good God. Sweet dreams, and I will see you in the morning. Good morning. I woke up feeling so sluggish and just not good, but I did wake up at 8.30. This is such a win for me. For some people, that probably sounds like lying in. For me, that's an early, early morning. It's the start of a new day, and I'm gonna make this day extremely productive. I've got a lot to do. Now it's officially Christmas. Terms ended. Today's Monday, so it's the first week of the Christmas holiday. I have an insane amount of work that needs doing for the end of January. I wrote it all out. It took me three hours to actually get it all down in like a list format. I'm not looking forward to it. It's gonna be grueling to say the least. And I think that's probably why I've been having these slower days. That's my mind's way of procrastinating getting started with it at all. It's just not doing anything. Yesterday, I think was a really good precursor. I think getting out of a rut takes time. I think jumping into it yesterday would have been a mistake, kind of rushing to do things in the last half of the day when I already felt a bit defeated. We're gonna have breakfast quickly before we head out, I think probably to a cafe to do some work. I kind of want to do more than just work today. If you've been watching me for a bit, you'll know that I've been trying to finish Emma by Jane Austen for the past 11 months and I think finishing that would make me feel very good about myself. So I might try and do that. Honestly, I probably could if I put my mind to it, like finish it today. Maybe this evening. We're here. I got my trusty ice Americano, as always. Obviously, it's my drink of choice. I don't think there's anything that refreshes me as much as an ice Americano does. It doesn't prepare me for a day of work like an ice Americano. The idea is I'm going to do a little bit of like actual uni work. So probably IT law, which I've done. When I say fuck all on, I do genuinely mean not a single second of it. And then... I'm thinking we're gonna go shopping, right, Mickey? Yeah, we're gonna go shopping. Cool, um, amazing. <laughs> General, just vibe, like here there are a lot of children. Don't get me wrong, I like children. I think they, they can be quite sweet. They are screaming this cafe down though, and I can't get behind that, unfortunately. I'm gonna put my makeup covered headphones on and hopefully that will do the trick. home now it's been a long day honestly i think like just getting out of the house it sounds like such a simple thing but it really makes like a world of a difference i say that like i discovered fire like it's obvious i know in a way it's like come on like obviously just like take a walk i don't know if this is a universal experience but at least for me i get so sucked up in routines if i have gotten used to being at home all day chances are i'll just stay at home all day for like three days and then wonder why i'm kind of feeling bad and it's because i've not seen the sun i had just gone through like a mini exam kind of period so i'd spend a lot of time by myself spending pretty much the entire day out it makes you realize that like people have lives not just you and so things are generally bigger than you and that can be really really hard to remember when you spend too much time alone and while i was out i did a little bit of retail therapy and by retail therapy should i show you the one thing i got okay it's this it's literally just like a box of plasters it's the simple pleasures it really is we went to get dinner at itsu And like, it's not the fanciest place in the world, but they do do good sushi. This video has been about me getting out of a rut, which I absolutely have done. If you're feeling a bit stuck or feeling like every day feels the same, I hope that this video has helped you figure out what you can maybe do to get out of that state of mind. I didn't know how this video was going to play out, but I think having you guys keep me accountable is a big driver for me getting myself together. So thank you for watching. I really appreciate your company. If you've enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!